this is a talk that is dedicated to English teachers as a sort of professional development cycle of um, training that I will intend to, as much as possible, um, bombard you with a few insights about language learning and uh, language teaching and the convergence of language learning and language teaching and how you as an English teacher um, can improve your skills as a language learner and a language teacher. We're all learners of English language, but in some occasions we find ourselves as English teachers. So how can you transform yourselves to become more professional in the field of language learning and language teaching? And this is pretty much something that um, has bigger value and it's weighed so much heavily around the world in so many conferences. And uh, we need to understand that um, becoming an English teacher, being an Eng English teacher, is not an easy job. It comes with um, multiple aspects that you need to work on. You need to work on your um, ability to understand language as a system. It comes from your ability to understand culture, and that comes from traveling. It comes from your ability to grasp the essence of how to do and con uh, construct good assessment tools to your students so you can measure what you're trying to measure with the right tool that can be valid, reliable, and practical. That gives you the better results progressively over the course of time of your training of this group of students, whether that kind of measurement is qualitative or quantitative. I'm sorry, this is not for English learners. This talk is geared towards English teachers. And by English teachers, I specifically focus on the EFL teachers. Teachers who work in um, a context where English is not the first spoken language. It's probably the second, it's not the official language that is spoken out there in the context where we're talking about. But generally speaking, there are a few features that uh, come to the surface that we need to work on and understand. And starting from the major standards where English teachers should be aware of is the English language system. As English teachers, we should not marginalize the functional and content aspects of language. Language is a system, and no matter how much influence that system undergoes because of internet and globalization and culture, there's still some stability down there in this sort of language. And uh, I'm, I'm just checking your comments here and seeing if you have any um, question that comes in your mind. And just please share it with me here. Going back to my point, language as a system should not be um, focused on purely for the sake of teaching students grammar or teaching them content words, vocabulary or functional words. It is part of the whole system of language, uh, the whole ecosystem of language learning and the whole system of language is partially geared towards um, the content and function of a language in the society. So as a teacher, you need to be aware that language has culture and language has um, system. And in order to satisfy the needs of learners, you need to balance introducing culture and introducing language. And in language, you need to ask yourself um, you know, about the context where you're teaching language, the amount of supplementary materials that you can add to the um, students uh, in order to be able to introduce the materials effectively and naturally and correctly and um, not on the expense of um, not the on, on the expense of bombarding students with so many grammatic structures that they feel sick of language. Ask yourself this question: How much should I um, add in terms of language system and language content and culture? These are to homogeneous sort of elements that should work in harmony. They walk hand in hand. 
once you introduce any grammatical structure, whether that's a passive voice or present perfect or present simple or any sort of um, functional grammar, you need to balance that with embedded culture. You need to tell them how that is used in certain culture or certain context because not everything we learn we should use everywhere. There's certain contexts where things are applicable and things are not applicable. Things that can work here in this context and things that do not work in other contexts. So the whole lesson that we should deduce from this short conversation, me and you, is just to remind you that language is not only a system. Okay, it's a system, but it comes with culture. And this culture should walk hand in hand. So once you start introducing present simple, you need to tell them a little bit about how people go about their daily routine and the kind of things that they do on a daily basis. And um, in Europe or in France, as, a, as an example, or in Holland or in the United States or in Canada. Um, basically speaking, we are all humans and we just go to work and we come back exhausted, probably we get stuck in traffic. So these are certain contexts that are similar. There are certain occasions where like, for example, international uh, festivals and national festivals and these holidays that might not have equivalency in Arabic context where we are teaching English as a second language or as a foreign language, EFL. So you need to balance these two. In addition to that, there's another surface, there's another layer, which is the layer of being professional. How do you maintain professionalism while you're teaching? How do you progress yourself? You need to be always on the top of things that you're introducing to them. and Part of that is demanding you to always constantly being um, trying to saturate yourself with as much knowledge about language and as much skills to be developed through the process of your reading, your investigation. And one tip I have for you for that is read education journals. Um, you do not need to stick to a book because the book just carries the viewpoint of one author or two author or a collection of authors. But once you start reading short journals or articles online about the EFL context, about how to um, uh, embed digital learning with language learning, how to use technology in language learning, this is a necessity for the modern English teacher. You should learn how to work with Zoom. You should learn how to work with drives. You should know how to work with Facebook, you should know how to save data and share data and collect data and analyze data. And all of that comes by set of practice in addition to being able to learn how to do editing. These are necessary tools that are one that these are probably are some of the aspects where English teachers should master to become professional in their field and you should be aware of that. In addition to this layer, there's another layer of, of assessment. So we talked about language as a system and you should introduce that to students, but embedded with culture. In addition to that, the assessment. How do you assess students? You go back and investigate the literature of test assessments. Basically, just go and read about speaking test assessment or writing test assessment um, or uh, reading or listening. These test assessments are really necessary to help you um, improve your language and become very professional English speaker. So generally speaking, these are the aspects where I think are necessary for any English teacher who is starting his career and trying to be successful and takes his um, uh, skills and his expertise and his education and his students to the next level. Thank you so much. That was just a quick introduction to uh, the EFL context and EFL English teachers and how they can become very professional in their field. Thank you so much and looking forward to see you in another video.